welcome back to Blue Jay Bonsai. And in today's episode, James and I will be repotting and pruning our Schaeflera, also known as a dwarf umbrella tree. We've named this one Rihanna for reasons that we hope are obvious. Zinn from the channel Maybe Bonsai gave us this back in September when we visited. It was a cutting off of his larger Schaeflera. We already have a Zinn ficus, so I hope you don't mind we don't call this the Zinn Schaeflera. And other than repotting it back then into this beautiful pot from Ray, we really haven't done much with it. So lately I've noticed when watering it that the roots have been trying to escape from the bottom. So I figure it's time for a repot to at least see what's happening. I was hoping that the spatula end of my root rake would make quick work of getting this tree out of the pot. But no such luck. He's really stuck in there. A little more persuasion is needed. Finally, with the little tree freed from the pot, we can see a massive ball of healthy roots. So let's rake them out so we can see how much we need to cut back and start working on a nice radial root base. We start out by pruning back the obvious really long roots. And it might look like my little shears are not that sharp, but actually it's just difficult to cut with your left hand when you're right-handed. And now we try and take off all the roots on the very bottom that are growing downwards and trying to get a nice flat root base. And I've switched back to my right hand so it makes it a lot easier to cut these ones off. So you can see where the roots have hit the side of the pot and started to sort of curl over. So what I do is I go around the entire perimeter, cutting off the roots where I see they've taken that bend. And with that all done, I'm pretty happy with how the roots are looking. And I like to just sort of try it out and see if the tree is going to sit flat. 
So I have another pot that's a little bit bigger than the one that we had it in originally. As much as I love the color on the Ray pot, I think that we need to use the larger pot so we have a bit more room to grow. So it's time to add some drainage mesh so our soil or substrate doesn't fall out through the drainage holes. And as usual, I like to use wire, what I call little bow ties, to hold the drainage mesh in. Just snip off any excess and repeat on the second drainage hole. Now it's time to add a nice pile of our bonsai soil in the middle of the pot. And as usual, I'm using the Nigel Saunders original recipe of perlite, turfus, and pine bark vines. So I think we have about the right height of the soil and the tree is going to look good at that level. So before we put it in, I'm just going to dip it in a little bit of the mycae or the mycorrhizal fungi. Yeah, throw a little extra on top just for fun. And finish topping up with our soil. Our faithful old chopstick does the work to help work the soil into the roots. Make sure we don't have any air pockets. So after all that chopstick work, we need to top up just a little bit more soil. And just level everything out a little bit. Do on a little spin around the block so you can get a look at the tree from all sides. To be going and with the repotting completed, it's time for a little bit of pruning. And we've already determined that this is the front, so we're going to clear off any of these branches that are obscuring our view of the front. As well as any other branches we knew we wouldn't want as part of the design, like this really low down one. And here's the part where I count the branches. Stand up, reach and grasp the dreams that I have. Well, I have to admit that made me a little nervous. So I wanted to make sure that the tree was still plant it firmly in the pot. So James and I tried to decide if we wanted to keep this branch or not, and we decided to keep it. But we both agreed that this one needed to go. And here I have my third helping hand. With the pruning all completed, it's time for the carnage can. That's not too bad. When I reach out for the stars, when I reach out. 
I usually don't water on camera when I'm inside as it makes too much of a mess. But I've enjoyed watching Nigel's little red watering can so much recently that I wanted to show my little blue one. And gentlemen, I may have been... So with all our pruning complete as well, it's time to take another spin around the block and get a look at the tree from all sides. Not every video is super exciting, and sometimes you just have to put in that regular maintenance work. Got this uh, package delivered to my door. I just started to open it up and I figured I might as well do it on camera. So this looks like the um, this looks like the set that uh, Scott has from Let's Do Bonsai, uh, and of course this is very similar to Nigel's uh, uh, root rake. I know it's not the same, but uh, I know it's more like the one that Scott has. But this is really cool. There's no note. Um, wow. So, so if you sent this to me, please leave a comment below so I can thank you appropriately. Rick, Rick, Rick. And now it's time for subscribers picks. If you'd like to see your bonsai or pre bonsai on the channel, then send us an email with your name, the type of tree, and any other interesting information. My friend Carol from the Toronto Club sent me a picture of this Monterey Cypress Forest that she just put together with trees that she got from Florence in the club. Denise Mack sent us this picture of her beautiful little bougainvillea. It's just come into flower and it's looking amazing, Denise. My friend Joseph from the YouTube channel, Tim Joe Station, sent us this picture of a Schifflera that he found in the dumpster while at work. Now his co-workers call him the King of Dumpster Dory. Thanks for watching Blue Jay Bonsai. And if you like this content, please like and subscribe so we can bring you more videos.